Hello everyone, welcome back to International Business Classes. This is class 5 and you need two theories of international trade and business. In this class, I am going to discuss about theory of comparative cost advantage. So, you on the class in Ali, Tulat Maka Vichada Prayojana, the Siddhanta the Bagge, Chache Madonna. So, uh, there, are, uh, in, uh, there are six types of theories, we have discussed it earlier. So, we completed mercantilism, absolute cost advantage theory. And now, in this class, we are going to discuss about comparative cost advantage, Vichada Tulat Maka Prayojana, the Bagge, Chache Madonna. Let's see what is this comparative cost advantage. So, David Ricardo, an English economist, introduced the theory of comparative advantage in the year 1817. The theory of Adam Smith's absolute cost advantage theory fails to explain about the countries which have cost advantage in producing many products and about the countries which do not have absolute cost advantage. These deficiencies made David Ricardo develop a theory of comparative cost advantage to explain that the country can trade even if there is not having any absolute cost advantage. So, as you all know, we have studied Adam Smith's absolute cost advantage theory. So, according to him, what he says, the country which have uh, maximum, which have absolute co cost advantage, only those countries can trade with other country. So, he doesn't explain anything about the countries which can produce more products or which country doesn't have any cost advantage, absolute cost advantage. So, uh, so with these deficiencies, David Ricardo developed this theory called comparative cost advantage. So, he proves that even though those countries which doesn't have any co absolute cost advantage, those countries can also trade with other country, even those countries also can produce the goods and trade. English Artha Shastra Tadna David Ricardo had then to Adnola Rally, Tulatmaka Prayojana Siddhanta on Parichesidaro. Adam Smith Ravara Mukta Vecha the Anukula Siddhanta the Siddhanta Aneka Utpana Galanut Padi Suvali Vecha the Prayojana Hundirua Desha Gala Bagge Matamukta Vecha the Prayojana Vano Honda Dirada Desha Gala Bagge Vivari Solo Vifala Vagi. E. Koreteolo. David Ricardo Yaudia Mukta Vecheda Prayojana Villa Diddaru Saha Deshavu Vapara Mada Bahudendu Vivari Salo Tulatmaka Vecheda Prayojana Siddhantona Ruddi Padisidaru. So now in the Kaltange David uh, Adam Smith Aurian Hataidru. So Yava Desha uh, on the Vecheda Prayojana Vanu Hundi Rute Adesha Matra. Oh, the Utpanagal and Utpada and Marbodu, Vapara Marbodu and the Helidru, other David Ricardo in her Taidare, Yava Desha, even the Mukta Vecha, the Prayojana, Villa Didru Adilde Idru Saha, Desha, Utpanagal and Utpada and Marbodu, Vaparavana, Marbodu and Taili, Pru Martaidare. Let's see what does Ricardo theory of comparative cost advantage say. So comparative cost advantage means an ability of an individual company or country to produce at a lower opportunity cost than its competitors. That is, country should produce those com commodities which has maximum com comparative cost advantage or minimum comparative disadvantage. That is, here opportunity cost refers to what you have to give up or sacrifice in order to produce other goods or service. So here, what he's trying to say is that, so country should produce those products where it has more advantage when uh, advantage or lower opportunity cost. That is when the country has two options, two options or two products to produce, it has to produce that product which uh, where it finds lower opportunity cost when you compare in both. So, for example, opportunity cost, cost means when you have 50 rupees in your hand and you have two options to eat. When one is you have option of eating ice cream or option of eating biscuits. So, it's up to your choice. So, you have to see where you get more advantage. So, if you want to eat ice cream, so you have to give up biscuits. 
so giving up or sacrificing biscuit is called opportunity cost so you have two alternatives so in order to produce one product you have to give up or you have to sacrifice another product that is called as opportunity cost so the country has to decide now or you have to decide which one to eat either ice cream or either biscuit so it all depends on the cost you are going to incur you have to compare here so you have to select that product uh, which have lower opportunity cost the sacrifice made should be lower so the advantage of the product which you are producing should be more. So that is what the recorder is want to say here. So Tulatmaka Vecha the Prayojana Yandara, Opa Vekti, Company Atwa Deshavu, Tana Pratis Pradigaliginta Kadime Aukasha the Vecha the Lutpa Diswa Samartya. Andere Deshavu Garishta Tulatmaka Vecha the Anukula Atwa Kanishta Tulatmaka Ananukula Tenu Hondura Sarkugala Nutpa Disebeku. So, this is the first thing that we have to do. This is the first thing that we have to do. This is the first thing that we have to do. So, this is the first thing that we have to do. This is the first thing that we have to do. So, this is the first thing that we So, this is the first thing Adekawakashara, Vetchante. So Yao Kadame Vetcha Rote, Adana new bit Kodaka. So ice cream costly rote, biscuits Kadame Idaga, new biscuits are bit kotu, ice cream naste, tin bother. So new bit kodo at the Tiaga Madodana Yavaglu, Vetcha Kadame Ruanta Utpadana Utpanagalna bit kotaga, Nimawandu, compare it to cost advantage, Hecha Gotenta, till here both. So before going to cost advantage, they are studying the advantages. Let's see what are the assumptions of the theory. So you you see that the uhe galayeno. So keeping this when we hold this assumption, then only this comparative cost advantage can be studied properly and it fits properly. So labor is the only productive factor. So other factors are not considered here. Only labor is the factor which is considered in this theory. So, dudimi ato karmika matra utpada kamsha vahide, vera amsha galna illi parigan so dilla. Yerede country rote, yerede commodities. Andre, yerede one. Two countries are considered with two commodities. Yerede desha, yerede sarakogolo. The labor is mobile, mobile within a country but immobile internationally. So, e labor, dudimi yo desha dolaje chalane shila vahirote, other antarashtri vahi. Chalana Shila Vagiro Dilla. There is unrestricted or free trade. So there will be no any restriction between the uh, uh, countries to trade. Anyantrita Atva Mukta Vapara Yondu theory Elikan Bodu. No transportation cost. So Ili Yerda Desha Yrodri the Yerda Desha Gala Madhya Madhya Yavde Ritiada Sariya Vecha Irodilla. There exist full employment and the Ili Uhisa Lavate country Eli. Atta on the Desha de Lipuna Udiaga, the Samatola, and Irotanta, Iluisa Lagide, there is perfect competition in the country. Paripuna Sparde, Iroteso, keeping this view assumption in view, we'll study the theory here. So I'll be explaining this. Just have a look at it. It's a bit confusing, but try to understand it. The theory of comparative cost advantage can be explained with the following table as below. So here, there are two countries and two products, India and China, tea and coffee. So in when we look at this chart, India can produce 20 tea units and labor units and coffee 10 labor units. China can produce 16 labor units and coffee of two labor units. So here looking at this table, China has, according to Adam Smith's, China has absolute cost advantage here. So within lower labor units, it can produce both tea and coffee. According to Adam Smith, what he says, India cannot produce any uh, goods here because it has 
uh, it doesn't have any cost advantage, absolute cost advantage. But according to Ricardo, even though India, even though China has co absolute cost advantage and India doesn't have absolute cost advantage, then also India can produce some product that is it has some alternatives to produce goods and export it to China. So let's see how we can prove it. So India to produce, so we can, we have to take out the opportunity cost here. So India to produce one unit of tea, that is in, in order to produce one unit of tea, it has to sacrifice 0.5 units of coffee. So here 0.5 is a sacrifice made by the India in order to produce tea. At the same time, China, in order to produce one unit of tea, it has to forego or sacrifice 0.125 coffee. Again, in India, in order to produce one unit of coffee, it has to forgo uh, or forego two units of tea. China, again, in order to produce one unit of coffee, it has to sacrifice eight units of tea. So when we go through this, we have to see which is the lowest opportunity cost here. So when we go for product T, T means here we have 0.5 and 0 0.125. So which is the least here, which is the lowest here, that is 0 0.125 opportunity cost is least. So that least opportunity can be selected for the production. So China can produce tea here. Again, when you go for coffee, here two units of tea should be sacrificed and here eight units of tea should be sacrificed, which is the lowest. Two units of tea can be sacrificed in place of eight, eight units. So we have to select the lowest opportunity cost here. That is, we can select two units of tea to sacrifice. So here, again, now lowest cost advantage wins. Always the low cost advantage wins means low opportunity cost always wins. That is, India can produce coffee and China can produce tea. In the above table, we can see that China has absolute cost advantage. It can produce both commodities, but India has absolute cost disadvantage because the cost of production and labor units are more than China. Now, according to Ricardo, instead of producing both the commodities, it would be more beneficial to produce that commodity in which it enjoys compared to cost advantage. So according to this table, now India enjoys compared to cost advantage in producing coffee and China enjoys greater comparative cost advantage in producing tea. So hope you understood this table. We'll explain it. So, Tulatmaka Vecha the Prayojana Siddhanta on E. Kelagina on the Vivara Dali new node podu. So, Ili, Yerud Desha on the consider Madi Divi, China Matu India, Yerud product Tide, tea Matu, coffee. Ega Kadime Vecha the Prayojana, now node Kobeka Vate, so Ya the Kadme Vecha the Prayojana Yrote, Adana, now Utpadane, Madabeka Vate. So, Melina. Koshaka Delhi, China, Sampurna Vecha, the Prajana, one of one day, uh, Indu, uh, now Nord Podu. So, Ili, China, Hadnaru, uh, T units, the produce Madodu, Matayer to T units, the coffee, the produce Madu, India compare Madaga, other Kadame Vecha, the Li Utpadana Madodu, so Ili, Sampurna Vecha, the uh, Ankula Galida under Adam Smith, our Hill Prakara, China, Staley Utpadana Madodu, India, the Li Avandu. Uh, Ankula Gul Illa Anta Ili, now Chitra Nordaga Gotagate, Adre, Ricardo of Prakara, Yerdu Sarakogalan Upadi Sua Badalu, Hechina Tulat Maka Vecha the Prajan on Hundiro Sarakogalan Upadi Sudu, Hechu Prajana Kari and the Ili, Hertare. So either Yariti calculate Madabeka Nodana and Salpa Nord Podi. So Madelege now 
ಈ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೋಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಟಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಒಂದ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಟಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಟೆನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಫಿನ ಅದು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಚೈನಾ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿಯನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಲು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಬೈ ಟೆನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಿ ಟೂ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇದು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಟೀ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕಾಫಿನ ಅದು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಭಾರತವು ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಭಾರತ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಚಾ ಅಷ್ಟು ತ್ಯಜಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಚೈನಾ ಒಂದು ಯು ಕಾಫಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎಂಟು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಟೀ ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ಕಂಡು ಹಿಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಕಡಿಮೆ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಯಾವ್ದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಗೆಲ್ಲುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೀ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಭಾರತ ಚೈನಾ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಕಡಿಮೆ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಯಾವ್ದಂದ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಚೈನಾ ಚಹಾವನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಭಾರಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ವೆಚ್ಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಭಾರತ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಲು ಇಸ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಚಹಾನ ತ್ಯಜಿಸಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಚೈನಾ ಎಂಟು ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ನ ತ್ಯಜಿಸಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಭಾರತ ಕಾಫಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಇವ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಅವ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಹೇಳಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಕಡಿಮೆ ವೆಚ್ಚದ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಗೆಲ್ಲುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಭಾರತವು ಕಾಫಿಯನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಬಹುದು ಮತ್ತು ಚೀನಾವು ಚಹಾ ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈ ಇದೊಂದು ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಈಸಿ ಇದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸೊ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸಿ ಇದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಇವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥೇರಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತದ ಪರಿ ಪರಿಣಾಮಗಳು ದಿಸ್ ಥೇರಿ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜಸ್ ಟು ಚೂಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಾಮಿಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಟಿವ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತವು ತುಲಾತ್ಮಕ ವೆಚ್ಚದ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುವ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನಗಳನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಲು ಆ ಸರಕನ್ನು ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡಲು ಪ್ರಯ ಪ್ರಯತ್ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಥೇರಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಾಮಿಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಗೇನ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಲೋಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಟೂ ಕಮೋಡಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ವಿಶ್ವ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಗಳ ಸಮರ್ಥ ಹಂಚಿಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಪ
So this theory compares takes into consideration only two countries and two products, but there are many countries and many products and it finds very difficult to, to select which country and which product. So, Hachina Sankia Saraka Golamata Neka the Eshagoli Rudi Rinda Yava the Eshagoli Yava Saraka Golali Tulat Maka Vecha the Prajan on Pandi de Yambudana Nirdari Sulu Naija Jagatina Lido Hachu Jatila Vahide Andre E. Wando Theri Siddhanta Yerudu Desha Yerudu Saraka Stege Pariganis Pariganis Tide. So, Desha the Biala Deshagoli de Halas to Saraka Golide, so Yava Desha Dali Yava. Which are the prayojana ide and buduna select model the litondria gotenta, here The theory ignores the effects of transportation cost. If the transport costs are added, the comparative advantage may fail. So, transportation cost means when we import and export, there we, uh, we have to transport those goods from one place to another place in order to import and export. So, these transport costs are totally ignored here. So when we consider this transport cost, so again, this uh, comparative cost advantage fails. Record ignored the role of demand completely and explained trade from supply side. So what is the demand of that product in other countries being totally ignored? Only the supply part is being considered here. Record a bedike patra vana sampurna vai nirlakshi sidharu matu pure kea kade in the matra vivari sidharu. In this theory, costs are expressed in terms or expressed in terms of labor hours. Other factors are totally ignored. So, other factors means capital is ignored, mm, uh, materials are ignored, and technology is in, ignored. There are many other factors of production uh, where uh, this theory does not consider. So, e one siddhanta dalli vecha vana karmika gante gala vishaya dalli vekta padi salagutte the itar amshagalana nirlakshi salagide. The theory applies the trade between two countries only and with two commodities only. So the principle has a limited scope of application in practice. So either on the Vapti Tumba Kadame Bek Yakandri, the Erede country, Ato Erede on the products of a game Matar Taido. So unrealistic assumption of full employment. Purna Udyagada our Avastavika Uhis Uhis Lagi de Ante. So full employment illiro laid on the solo unrealistic and the hair So these are some criticism of this theory. So hope you all understood this theory. I'll be back with another new topic. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you very much.